This is the solution video for question 19 from paper 2 of the 2019 TMUA or CTMUA exam. In this question, we're asked to find the value of this uh, messy expression and we're given seven different numerical options for what it evaluates as. So this question is essentially based on a small trick, but it is spottable because the thing to notice is why have we been given a question like this? Because surely wouldn't the question setter just put 9 minus 4 root 2 and 17 minus 12 root 2 here? Well, the reason it's been given like this is it's trying to get us to do something. What's that? Well, if we could write this as something squared then the square root would cancel with the squared and we'd be able to write this in a much better form similar with this. So let's have a look at this. So a minus b root 2 squared, uh, sum a and b, is this. And we see that this very closely mimics the form of the inside of these roots. So maybe by correctly choosing a and b, we can get the insides of these roots in this form and then we'll know what to do. So let's try and mimic this first one. So what do we need? Well, we need 2ab to be 4, and we need a squared plus 2b squared to be 8 plus 1, so 9. And we see that a is 1 and b is 2, works here, because 2 times 1 times 2 is 4. a squared 1 plus 2 times 2 squared, 8 is 9. And so we know 8 minus 4 root 2 plus 1 is 1 minus 2 root 2 all squared. And now this is 2 root 2 minus 1. Why is that? Well, the reason we switched the sign on this is 1 minus 2 root 2 is negative, And we're taking a positive root here. So we need uh, the modulus of this, which is 2 root 2 minus 1. Now let's do the same for the other root. So we need 2ab to be 12. And a squared plus 2b squared to equal 17. So for that, we see we've not got that many combinations we could try. And a equals 3, b equals 2 works, because 2 times 3 times 2 is 12. And we get 9 plus 2 times 4 here, which is 17. So again, let's substitute it into here. We have the square root of 9 minus 12 root 2 plus 8 is equal to the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2, all squared. Here, 3 minus 2 root 2 is positive anyway, so we just get 3 minus 2 root 2, and the squared and the root cancel easily. And we're almost there, because we've simplified this and simplified this. So let's combine it all, so let's add them up. So we're doing 2 root 2 minus 1, plus 3 minus 2 root 2. And the 2 root 2s cancel, which is very nice, and we get left with 2. And so if we look at our multiple choice options, we realise our answer is E.